Alright guys, look, it's your boy DJ Nerdy, I'm back and I'm black and I'm better than ever, I like the weather and you already know we stay keeping it together, and as promised, I said I wanted to start making videos to help people who are trying to be an entrepreneur or start their own business and whatnot, so this is the first of many videos, and in this video I'll be talking about everything that deals with mailing, okay, I'll be talking about what I use to mail, um, how I print out my labels, where do I go to mail, and the whole process, so stay tuned, let me not waste none of your time, let's get this video started now. get this show started so for this um examples I'll be using my business since that's easier for me to explain to you the whole process and whatnot as if you don't know I sell clothes I sell a variety of apparel that you can see all around me some of the clothes I sell so let's get it started so step one let's say that you just got placed an order on your website okay you already have your website set up and everything and someone placed the order now you have to mail something so the first thing you do is we're gonna get your product someone bought it ignorance is blessed pink long sleeve shirt you got your product now you need to put your product in something to mail it. And what I recommend is poly mailers, okay? Poly mailers, they come in a variety of sizes, shapes, colors, fonts. And the top three that I use is these, okay? So this is the first poly mailer. This one's a smaller one. Like I said, they come in different sizes. I'm going to put links in the bio below to show you where I got all of these from. I got majority from Amazon, but I'm sure you can find it in other places. You might even find it for a little cheaper than the link that I got down there. But that's where I got mine, okay? So this one is a um, banana poly mailer, banana and pink. And what I, what I suggest when you get your your thing get something that's creative get something that has a nice logo on it something that stands out something that when someone gets it out the mailbox they're like oh this looks nice this looks pretty it looks it, it, it catches their attention it looks better it looks it complements your business it makes your business look more official it stands you out from the rest so get something with a nice design okay for if I have a small item or something small and someone buys something small on my website like a necklace or whatever I would put in something like this now, as you can see, this shirt is way too big for that. So that brings me to my next size. I have these. Okay? These. And like I said, they come in bags full. You can get a bunch. You can get 100 or whatever. You get 50. You can get how much you want. So for this one, you see it? This is another poly mailer. It has a strip right here. When you unstrip it, it's sticky. And then you fold it. And boom. Now you put your mail into this. And a simple fit, just like that. And you seal it and you're good to go. You mail your practice. This looks official, looks nice. It looks like, dang man, you've been doing this for a minute. It looks like you really care about your customers. Like you didn't cut corners nowhere. You wasn't going cheap or nothing. You said you want to give your customers the best quality experience with your brand of all time. Because they deserve it. Your customers deserve to feel like this is the business to be with, right? So, boom. Now let's say you they bought a bunch of stuff. Let's say they bought three hoodies, a couple t-shirts, and a couple necklaces. Then you want to go up a size. Now this is the last size that I have, but this isn't the last size that they come. They do come bigger, but this is the next size up for that. Boom. See, you can tell it's basically almost over double the size of this one. So my, the three that I have are these for different sizes, okay? The gold one, and the reason I pick gold is because I want people to feel like, yo, this is it. Y'all put in a big order, gold, gold packaging. It's just take take stuff into consideration. So as you can see, it's plastic. It's a good material. It'll definitely get you where it needs to go. The cheaper ones are just simple colors, white, black, and it's nothing wrong with white and black. You can even get a poly mailer that's white, and if you have some stickers, just stick it on there and like your, like your logo. Boom, right on a white poly mailer. It looks way better than going and getting a little cardboard box thing that they sell at the post office or whatnot. This looks way more official. It just looks like, dang, you took some thought into it. And I promise you, your customers will appreciate you and they will see the difference. A lot of people think that, that um, customers don't see the effort that you put into your brand. But trust me, the ones that matter the most do see the effort. They see all of the things you're doing, okay? So take, take time in your mailing. Okay, look, boom. You got your mail and your poly mailer. You picked out a nice one. You got a nice little pattern going. It fit there perfectly. You're ready to seal it, but before you seal it, you're not done yet, okay? I recommend you take the extra mile because like I said, this is your business and you want your customers to be like, dang, this is the place to be. 
So what I do, I take the extra mile. I go in with a little something different. I put my mail in there because they bought it, but I might throw in something like I have buttons, you know? You go always buy some custom buttons. This one says, um, be a part of the Nerd Nation, and one of my designs is Nerd Nation, so you see how it blends in. I might throw a button in there. I also have a couple patches. You know, you can throw in a couple patches in there, and I also even have some stickers. You can put some stickers in there, put some stickers on the poly bag, put some stickers on it, just to make it, you know, add a little something to it. If you have business cards, throw a business card in there, okay? And then if you don't have none of that stuff, and, you, and you're trying to save money, and you have a couple index cards, you got an index card, get a pen and pencil, and write on there. Write a little thank you letter. Be like, thank you for being the best customer in the whole wide world. Thank you for sort of my, supporting my business. I really appreciate you. I'm so happy that your mom didn't get an abortion. Love, such and such, such and such. You get it? You know what I'm saying? Make them feel special because they are special. You got your package, doing a button in there, you sealed it up, and now, boom, the next thing. What's the next thing, you may ask? You want to put a label on that stuff. Now that you got it looking all good, you don't want it to get lost, so you want to get a nice label. What I recommend, how I do my labels, is this is how I do it. My website, um, it allows me to sync PayPal to it. Um, there's other things that you can use, but I know a lot of websites use PayPal as well. So if you have a website and you're using PayPal, PayPal will allow you to print a shipping label. And I'm going to show you how to do that myself. But PayPal will allow you to print a shipping label. And I print my shipping labels on this bad boy right here. Yes, this bad boy right here is called a Dymo 4XL printer. This comes in many different sizes. You don't have to get this one. The reason I got this one is because this is the biggest one they have. And if you get this one, you can print on all of the smaller sizes or you can print on the bigger sizes. And once you buy it once, you buy it, that's it. You don't got to pay monthly for it. You don't got to do nothing. You buy it and you're done. So I thought, you know, might as well buy the biggest one because I'm never going to have to buy it again. And it's easier for me to downsize with this, but I'll never be able to upsize with something else. So you get what I'm saying? So I got the 4XL one. Now the labels that fit in the 4XL one are pretty big. It's like this. And what's so cool about the Dymo 4XL is it does not use ink. Yes, it doesn't use ink. Other printers may use ink, and when you, something uses ink, that means ink could run out. That means you have to buy more ink. This, you don't have to buy more. It uses lasers. It uses heat to print the words and stuff on there, and you'll never have to buy more lasers because it's built in, it's good to go. The only thing you have to buy more of is the labels. So. I thought it was a steal. I'm saving money on ink. I bought this one time. I'm done. And I'm printing out my labels. And I'm going to print out a label for you to give you an idea of how this works. So I'm going to hook this bad boy up and I'm going to show you how it goes. So when someone places the order on your site and you have PayPal set up, when you go to PayPal, this is what will pull up. Now you can choose between UPS and USPS. USPS is better for me because it's cheaper. So that now you have all the different options. First class mail is the cheapest option of them all, but the product has to be below 16 ounces. If it's higher than 16 ounces, the error message will pull up, and I'll give you an example. So I put in 116, I did calculate shipping, and as you can see, the error message. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to put in 16 ounces, and then I'm going to click calculate shipping again. And then now the price comes up. It's less than $6, so that's not bad. So on my website, I would say that my if my product I know is under 16 ounces, I put $6 for shipping so that they can cover shipping. All right? Now, just to let you know, if you do it through PayPal, it's much cheaper than doing it at the post office. So another option is Priority Mail. I use Priority Mail a lot. And what's great about this is it has to be there in two days. So if you do flat rate envelope, you have up to 70 pounds. So if you know your stuff could fit in the flat rate envelope, you get up to 70 pounds. Then you click on Calculate Shipping, and it's about $7 and some change. So that's great. Now that you did all of that, you are good. Now you just calculate, I mean, now you confirm and pay, and now you have bought your shipping label. So you are set. Now I'm going to take you over to the Dymo to show you how it prints. Okay, so after you click confirm and pay, this is what will pop up. This is your label. Now I don't know why it always pops up that angle, so I rotate it so it could be the correct way. Now you also don't need this whole page, so I take a screenshot of just the label part, and if you have a Mac, all you have to do is click Command Shift 4 and then drag it over like I just did. Okay, so now you got your label and it's usually saved to your desktop. So I go to my desktop, I click on the shipping label, I click on the shipping label as such, and then when you open it up, you can even customize it further if you want to. You don't have to, but you can. So you could click the little tool right here, and then you click text, and you go to text. And what I recommend is if you are going to customize it, only customize it in the bottom section right here. So you can say something that's nice like, thanks for the support, or whatever you want. Boom, you click done and then it's saved. 
So now you open up your Dymo software, which you should have already downloaded when you bought the Dymo printer. And um, let me pull the Dymo software up for you right now. All right, the Dymo software is loading. And when that opens up, all you do is simply attach the picture or the label that you just took. This is the previous label that I had. So I'm just gonna change this out for the new one that I have. I browse and I attach it. And then when I find it on my desktop, all I do is click print. And that is it, and it will print once you, you know, make sure your Dymo is plugged up. Okay, so you got your Dymo label printed up, you got it all set up, you have it connected to your computer, you have your label pulled up, and then you go to the app, the Dymo app or a software, and when you click print, it'll print like such. Okay, so boom, yeah, then you have your label. Your label would look like this. Now, of course, yours will have information here. I took out all that information because I didn't want to share confidential information. And you can even put a little message on the bottom say thank you for your support or thanks for shopping with us or whatever. You can customize it. You can put the person's name. You can put something nice. And then you take your label and then, of course, you know, it's on this sticky paper so you can peel it off. But you take it and you stamp it on there just like that and you hold up and then you good to go. Now, what I do want to mention is a little side note. With what I had when I started up is because like I showed you on the PayPal thing, you can pick different sizes and different weights. A lot of things go by weight. You might want to get yourself a one of these. It's something to measure your package. With. This one's pretty cheap. I'll put the link below for it. Now, because I've gotten so used to knowing how much a shirt weighs from doing it so many times, I know that one shirt, depending on the size, can weigh less than a pound. If it weighs less than a pound, then it's a little cheaper to mail. If it weighs more than a pound, then it's some more money to mail. So you might want to get one of these so that you can weigh your stuff and see how much they weigh so that you know that you're putting in the right information on there to get the most accurate um, shipping cost. So, like I said, this is pretty cool. The link in the bio for this. And then of course you have the Dymo label maker, the link in the bottom for that as well. Okay, so I went over the poly bags, I went over how you get the labels, I went over this. Now, when you when you have your package on there and you put that label on there, you can ship it two ways. You can simply just put this in your mailbox because you already paid for the label. So when, it, when the mailman picks up your um, package, they'll take it to the post office, the post office will scan it. And if they bought it, if it's a PayPal label, you can go on PayPal and then you go back to where you got the um, label from. Then it'll update with the tracking information and the tracking um, number. And then you just take the tracking number and you go to your website or you send it to your customer. So you don't even have to go to the post office. As soon as they get it, they'll scan it and then you'll get a tracking number once they scan it. Or you could just forget the mailman, take your package straight to the post office, hand it to them, they scan it, and you could they'll give you a receipt with the tracking number or it'll still update in the system. But you don't have to pay for it because you already paid for the label. So it's all done. You could get someone else to take it to the mailbox, you could take it to the mailbox, it's whatever, you don't have to show ID, you don't have to show nothing, the label's already paid for, you just have to hand it to them so that they can mail it themselves. And that is literally the whole process. I think I went over everything. I went over how, um, how, oh, Something else I want to mention because I, you saw it in the video but I didn't talk about it. As you saw on my mail, I had this little, another plastic poly mailer. Now the only reason I have a plastic poly mailer is because the certain colors like pink and white and very light colors, I don't want it to get dirty or whatnot. And I usually set up a table and vendor at different colleges and whatnot so I'm outside and I don't want dust or dirt getting on any of my light color stuff. So to keep it fresh and clean, I put a plastic poly another plastic poly mailer which you could buy on Amazon as well but for certain colors that are a little bit darker like my green one I don't put no poly mailer on it and it's perfectly fine to just put it inside the bag and mail it just like such I only have a plastic one over these to keep it nice clean fresh and it just looks presentable when you're at the table and you don't want it to get dirty because people like to touch your product to feel it but if it's in a bag you don't got to worry about dirty fingernails or whatnot especially on colors like white and light pink and I hope this answered all your questions. If you have any questions at all, definitely let me know. Put a comment in the comment section below what more videos you want to hear. What other ideas do you have? I hope this covered all your stuff. Thank you for watching. Stay nerdy. Stay tuned. Great content coming out.